What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, me come for just share some things with you guys. So the first thing me I go get in a people, Chuck Overturn, K I L L I N G driver in Old Arbor. A truck driver was K I L L on Tuesday after his vehicle overturn along the Makuxpen main road in Olaba St. Catherine. About 12.45 p.m., he was driving from the direction of Spanish Town when he lost control of the truck and it swerved off the road. The driver was discovered among the mall and the rubble that was being transported in the truck at the time of the incident. He has not yet been identified. Jaja, R.I.P. to this man, condolences to his family. Why people, another accident, you know what I mean? Careful upon the road. Careful upon the road, people. Woman allegedly K-I-L-L-S ex-boyfriend after making police report. And people, it look like at the ex-boyfriend fault. He might follow up the woman and the woman defend herself. You see it? The St. Elizabeth police are probing an incident in which a man was STAB to death by his ex-girlfriend on Tuesday morning. Our news team understand that the woman was in the parish capital Black River when she was confronted by the man. It is understood she went to the officers to, you know what I mean, make them know what going. She got the police to make the police them know what going. And was followed by the man. After making the, you know what I mean, after she got to tell the police them everything was going on, Ray, 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 she reportedly left the station to get a taxi it's understood that she was met at the transport park by her new boyfriend who boarded a taxi with her. The ex-boyfriend reportedly attacked the woman as she sat in the front passenger seat of the vehicle. The woman is alleged to have used a sharp object to STAB the man. He was rushed to the Black River Hospital where he was pronounced. So you see it, people, how the youth go look trouble from the woman? You know what I mean? You know some woman left some man and them can't let go of the relationship. Even sometime, you know, people, how the man them wrong, you know what I mean? And what about the woman, but the woman over everything and cut left him. Some woman left because of financial thing, you know what I mean? Or them left because this man can't service them the right way. Various reasons them left for. So as a man, if a woman left you and go about her business, just leave her alone and try to find an next woman. You see me, I say that's why I tell the man, them say, yo, work on yourself even if you're in a relationship, take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Pour into yourself first, then you pour into others. Because enough of the time, some of the man them in a relationship with the woman them, and them spend them all upon the woman and expect she to stick around right through. And some woman now go do that. You know what I mean? And you have to know in yourself what type of woman you're there with. You understand? If she are going to stick around when the bad time come and them way there. So as a man, you have to value yourself too. If a woman want to cut, even if you love her, if you try a couple of times and in a workout, just leave her alone. Simple as that. So leave your comment in the comment section, my people. And like up this video for me, please and thanks. And also subscribe to the channel, right? Man charging connection with armed robbery of over $800,000 from Manchester Financial Institution. A man has been charged after he and another man reportedly held up a financial institution at gunpoint in Porous, Manchester and made away with cash and personal items um, valued at over $800,000 on Thursday, November 7. Charged with two counts of robbery with aggravation and possession of a prohibited weapon is 21-year-old Nassian Garden, otherwise called, what name, Terry? Yeah, of Bo Broadleaf District in Manchester. Reports from the Mandeville Police are that about 4 p.m. Garden and the other man, both armed with guns, enter the establishment and held up the employees. They proceed to rob them of cash amounting to eight hundred and ten thousand dollars and two cell phone value at seven hundred no seventy five thousand dollars so no them say them get to it oh them say over right over eight hundred thousand dollars yeah okay over eight hundred thousand dollars okay 
All right. The men then escaped in a waiting motor vehicle. Gordon was taken in custody and charged on Friday, November 10, after he was arrested during an apparition in a neighboring parish. Uh, he will appear in the Manchester Parish Court on Wednesday, November 15. So that's a tomorrow, people. You know what I mean? Why, people? No be careful out there. You see me? Although the money are insured still. You know what I mean? Them are money away them are take insured. You see me? I say about the people, them phone are insured. You see it? So, them are look for the next man we did in the robbery too. You know what I mean? He's at large right now. So, we are going to move on, my people. And the one here somewhat of a breaking news. Man shot dead at Falmouth Market Gate. The police are on the scene at the Falmouth Market Gate in Trelawney where a man was SHOT and him dropped out by unknown assailants Tuesday afternoon. The identity of the deceased is not yet a certain. Reports are that the police were summoned about 4.30 p.m. by residents who heard explosion coming from a section of Market Street, Falmouth in the vicinity of the market. Upon their arrival, a man was found suffering from what appeared to be GUNSHOT wounds at one of the two entrances to the market. More later. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section with people. And we are going to move on to a uh, thing we're going over in a Westmoreland scene. Westmoreland man accused of threatening man with weapon. So the police them all up on him and charge him with people. See? Police have charged a man who allegedly threatened a man with a weapon during a dispute at a bar on Wharf Road in Smithfield, Westmoreland on Saturday, November 4. Charge is 29-year-old Kemar Smith of Barracks Road, Savannah Lamar in the parish. He is charged with assault at common law and possession of a prohibited weapon. Reports from the Savlamar police are that about 11.45 a.m., Smith and two other men were at a bar when an argument developed. The disagreement reportedly escalated and Smith, who was armed, pointed the weapon at one of the men and threatened to K-I-L-L him. In fear of his life, the man ran and made a report to the police. On Monday, November 13, Smith was apprehended by the police and subsequently charged. A court date is being finalized. Why, people? The money have a local thing, and it look like say boy, them just want to show say them have it. You see me? So, this look like it's an illegal machine. But here we go on, people. You say if you have a license machine and you use it unlawfully, them charge you for the machine, you know. I'll do a license machine still, you know. You see it? So, this is all I have to share with you guys for right now. So, make sure you say you subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. And also, give this video a thumbs up. Bless upon yourself, people, and thanks for watching.